a lot of people always ask us like what we do for a living or how do we make money or blah 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 you know and we kind of tell them we're farmers but you know we also both have jobs i have a job i own my own company uh, i own several companies and then my wife is a she's a she works at a real estate company and uh that's how we pay for mostly everything but we do have a farm and our farm is here to make money it's you know it's also here for we like we like farming and we like having animals and we like having you know just our kids growing up around this kind of stuff it's really nice so on our farm we farm chickens and we farm rabbits uh, we have a couple goats you know they're just more like pets they're actually pretty good livestock guardians you'd be surprised that uh because we free range them we let them sleep wherever they want they do whatever they want and uh they'll uh they kind of keep uh, predators awake because they just hang out and sleep over by the chickens so a lot of raccoons and possums don't really want to walk up on an animal this big so we have uh, a bunch of guinea here and we do sell guinea from time to time and we sell guinea guinea hatching eggs and uh, they're pretty loud right now but uh, these guys are good for also livestock guardians but also pest control these things eat there's no bugs ever up here anywhere near our barn because these things eat so many bugs a day it's unreal but they're also they have they're like a, an alarm and if they see a <laughs> if they see a uh uh a flying like a hawk or a falcon or an owl if it's nighttime i guess but if they see those kind of things they make a lot of noise or any kind of predator and a lot of the chickens will run inside the guineas are pretty much always outside and a lot of chickens hang out inside <coughs> and we got a couple ducks as well we don't do anything with the ducks we got those when we first got here so they're original to the farm and they kind of just hang out and you know they don't like to be around people because the way we raise them they sleep outside they do their own thing we, we want to get into ducks eventually but you know for now it's just nice to have a couple ducks on the pond and take care of some of the some of the, the mosquito larvae and you know all those little things right, that they eat they're out there doing something right now so let me give you a little tour of what's going on so like i was saying we sell we sell chickens and we sell uh eggs so the chickens we sell uh we sell roosters just straight roosters i got a guy that comes and buys every rooster i have and he comes every couple months and it's great uh, as far as chickens, we sell uh, laying hens and we sell pullets. Now we generally sell pullets for about 15 bucks and that's uh, three to four months. And then laying hens, uh, five to six months, we sell for $20. And uh, we don't really budge on that price. A lot of people around here, you know, they're used to buying chickens for five bucks, but they're getting like four year old chickens that don't lay anymore. And uh, you know, I don't know. I've had a lot of people argue with me over, over how much it costs to buy a chicken. and. I just tell them, you know, well, this is my price. Go somewhere else if you can find a better deal. So usually they end up buying anyways, and then I'll get I'll get a call a few months later saying these are the best chickens they ever had in their life, and so on, so on. And it's a really good feeling because you know we take care of our animals, and you know our barns in <laughs> our barns not looking so hot, but you know it's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a palace that they live in. You can you can make a rinky dink chicken coop and have chickens. There's nothing wrong with that. We this barn was here, and we we happen to have it and we we're going to use it so right now we use it for strictly for chickens only nothing else so let me give you a little tour on here and i'll, I'll explain a little bit more like what we sell and, and how we do it so this is my rooster house i just keep all my roosters in here they got water they get fed once a day and they get fed based on the amount of the amount of roosters that are in here uh, about a quarter quarter pound a day they're all in here living in harmony they don't fight each other you know every now and then they might they might kind of fight a little bit but for the most part they just live in here just fine and these are more of the undesirables the ones that i don't want to keep the coals you'd call them uh, in here is where i keep all my feed but i also have a couple chickens that get picked on so this little rooster he gets picked on she was sick i put her in here and uh, she was also sick and i put her in here now they they tend to just they won't leave here they like it in here and uh i'm not gonna force them out but i'll open up the door and uh, leave it open for you know a while and they won't come out and this uh in this house we have uh some of our Ma morans now we th these are some mixed flocks so it's uh 
you got blue, blue copper, splash, black, and black copper uh, all over a couple of uh, black copper uh, Moran roosters. And what they do is uh, they lay really dark brown eggs. I don't have any eggs in here. I, I, I collected them all already, I believe. Yeah, so they lay some really dark eggs and they're, they're pretty good eggs, so we like them and uh, they sell pretty well. Uh, they got some chicken waterers in here and they got a feed, auto feeder. This is just a garbage can with some uh, some PVC in it and it works great. They eat out of there, they're open fed and uh, of course open water and then they have some uh, oyster shells in here to keep those eggs hard. All right, next is our Rhode Island Reds. We, uh, we we don't really sell eggs, but we do sell the chickens. So these are the ones we mainly sell. We we raise these guys out for laying hens, and locally, a lot of people around here in West Tennessee, they like Rhode Island Reds. If I post five different kind of chickens for sale, 90% uh, of the time, they're gonna ask about Rhode Island Reds and nothing else. So, this is a smaller flock. We had uh, come down and uh, we're building the flock back up since we, you know, there's a demand for those kind of chickens around here. This is our grow out flock. This is where we kind of put our chickens to grow out. And, you know, they come up in here and they sleep in here. There's an auto door here. They're, they're free range. They do their own thing. Some of them lay, some of them don't. Most don't really, but some do. And they kind of just, they're here to grow out. There's also some desirable roosters that we want to keep around that are in here. We don't want to, uh, you never want to get rid of too many roosters because you might need them. They're also open fed, but they're open fed cracked corn only. So they don't get laying pellets like the other chickens because they're not laying. They just can, they can grow out off corn. And they got a couple feeders in here. Little chicken door over there. And then our, our main, next is our main flock. And this is gonna be uh, I am Samani's. They're all black chickens. And they're also open fed and open watered. Water feeder. And they have, uh, they have the front of the coop, the other big chicken coop. And they lay uh, cream colored eggs. There's a couple in here now. These ones are kind of going broody and you don't want them to go broody when you're selling eggs. But they're pretty much, they're all black. Their meat's black, legs, eyes, comb, waddle, feathers. They're really good looking birds to look at and uh, keep a dust bath in here for them just to make it easy for them to clean themselves. But this is our, uh, this is where we make most of our money and it's gonna be uh, selling hatching eggs and selling chicks chickens as well we sell chickens for these chickens we sell for a little bit more but hatching eggs we sell uh, we sell quite a bit of these so this is just the barn this is where we keep uh, most of our adult chickens or the ones that are growing out to be adults and then uh, we also have you know we raise pigs we got some pigs down there we're, we're trying to get into uh, you know uh, birthing pigs as well we just haven't got into it quite yet but we're getting there but mainly we raise feeder pigs for our own meat and we trade that pork for beef so we don't have to buy beef or pork and we raise uh, we raise our own chickens as well meat meat birds for for chickens so we're pretty much we've been meat sufficient for about two years and it's it's really great actually all right I'll take you down by the house and I'll show you like what uh, what we got going on down there All right, so these guys hatched out yesterday, actually, and these are Rhode Island Reds and Morans. So you can see, here they are, hatched out about 50 or so. The yellow ones are gonna be Rhode Islands and the black ones are gonna be uh, black copper Morans. And we have a couple gray ones in here that are uh, blue, blue copper or blue. 
No splashes in this, this batch. These are more chicks, and these are anywhere from one month to two months old. And as they get bigger, we kind of move them outside to an outside brooder as well, and I'll show you that here in a second. We have these chicken tractors down here, and what we do with these uh, in the in the fall, in this, the end of end of summer and fall, we, we we run our own meat birds. Corn is cross, but sometimes we do. Uh, we're going to try to do a bunch of roosters this year, just uh, like Rhode Island Reds. Instead of uh, a Cornish cross, we're going to see like uh, if, if the flavor is different or if they're going to, uh, I mean, they're definitely going to be cheaper because we, we hatch them out ourselves here and we don't have to wait on shipping or anything like that. But give you a, a show of these and these guys are only in here for about a month and then they get moved up to the barn. So we kind of swap out like when the wet, depending on weather, like they were in here first and they kind of tore up the ground. And then we moved them so you can see like that they made it all muddy in here and we moved them in here so a lot of these are going to be uh morans or olive eggers we did order a bunch of olive eggers from uh a farm and uh, we got a bunch going in here and some other ones as well but these guys are uh, about another about another three weeks and we'll move them up to the barn and they can start growing out up there and we'll start picking out roosters that we don't want they, there's a lot of you know qualifying factors of what we want and what we don't want so we'll take those guys and throw them in with the other roosters and they'll live their life out there until our, our rooster guy comes and picks them up but they got fresh water over here. I put water in here too. And then uh, they got an open feeder in the back. I'll, let me show you guys that. This is a John Siskovich style chicken tractor. Originally made these for meat tractors, meat chickens. And uh, I ended up building this on the back because uh, we had our breeding pens in here when we first started breeding because we, we didn't have a lot of separation or anything like that. So they're on cracked corn. And this has a PVC tube that goes down here. You can't see it that way, but it's down there and they can eat out of it as needed also there's a waterer here and this waterer goes down to those two little uh, nipples we keep the wheels in here but generally uh, if we're breeding chickens this is their laying box right here and I just added this onto the back of this it does make it a lot heavier but uh, that's what the wheels are for and the wheels will four wheels on this thing this thing is you can pull it with two fingers Little compost pile we got going. Just keeps uh, we keep adding stuff to it. This thing was huge at one point. Now it's nothing. Keep some lumber back here. Uh, I really don't care about this lumber. It's just stuff I pulled out of an old warehouse, and then this was ripped down off of. Uh, there was an old deer stand out here, but I still use the lumber from time to time, especially when I'm building things like these. Uh, I'd rather use, you know, like for instance, all this stuff up here, where these rabbit cages are hanging at. I, uh, I use all, all this is reclaimed from, from this land. I didn't buy anything. All these four by fours, uh, two by sixes, and uh, I do have a couple of new two by fours up there. I guess I got somewhere. But these are chicken, or these are rabbits. And uh, this is a male Rex, nice jet black. This is a white and brown Rex. She just had these babies about Two months ago, I got to build a rabbit tractors to get these guys out of here. We do sell rabbits uh, as pets or whatever, you know, need people want for them for about 20 bucks, depending on, uh, the, you know, how they look and whatnot. These guys are, uh, they're really good looking rabbits. They're a mix of, uh, they're a mix of Rex, Lion's Head, and Her, which she is a uh, floppier rabbit mix of some sort so they're all pretty fuzzy for the most part and uh we already sold i think five of them so that she had a big litter this is our other male he is a he's just a gray rex she is a flemish giant she produces some big babies and they become big uh, this is a another rex two brown rexes females and this is our our original rabbit we got him from tractor supply his name is bolt and uh, he is a lion's head Rex mix. You can see a little bit of the lion head uh, around him, 
but for the most part he looks like a, a rex but not you know he's a mix he doesn't definitely doesn't have the same fur as a rex we uh we raise these we eat them if we uh if we can't sell them we eat them and then i got a neighbor that buys a dog he he, he feeds his dogs uh, raw meat and what he'll do is he'll buy uh i'll grind it up for him and he'll buy it for four dollars a pound so it's actually kind of more beneficial to just grind it up because it can grind up bone and meat and uh, he'll buy it all like that bone meat and liver ground all ground up into one hamburger style rabbit he'll freeze it feed it to his dogs dogs eat raw meat only kind of cool these guys have a, a wa water source up here and this is just a 55 gallon drum turned sideways hooked up on a spigot hooked up on a, a bar it follows all the way down and there's water on every single one of these and they're able to have fresh water every day so it's it's nice in the winter time you got to shut it off and uh, and come up here and hand feed them or hand water them it's kind of a pain anyways you know so that's what we do on this farm uh, I, i've been putting out a bunch of videos but mainly kind of tour review stuff and uh, every now and then we'll do some farm stuff but for the most part you know some people have asked like what we do here and if our farm's profitable and it is we don't make a ton of money but we do make we do make a couple thousand dollars a month off this and you know we've only been doing it for a couple years and i think it's pretty good especially from where we started at a lot of times people get chickens and they get too many chickens and then they're just paying outrageous feed bills and all they're doing is is giving eggs away so they're basically just buying all this feed to give eggs away and there's nothing wrong with that you know if you can afford it that's great but if you can't you know if you have to sell some chickens or sell some eggs or sell whatever you got to sell to uh to, to get by to pay that feed bill you know definitely do that now our our chickens are able to support our rabbits our pigs our goats and us and uh I wouldn't farm if it wasn't profitable. Now, would I keep like 10 chickens for our family? Yeah, that's what I would definitely do that. We did that when we first started. When we first started getting chickens and ducks and whatnot, we didn't buy them. I'm planning on starting to far start a farm. We just kind of got them to, uh, just to have, you know, because we have all this property, we might as well get some animals. And we had some predator issues in the beginning because we didn't know any better and took care of that. and. Once you learn how to take care of that problem and you'll 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 find other problems i'm sure and there's always money to be spent on on new uh on fences and chicken coops rabbit hutches there's always something but kind of wanted to give you guys a rundown on what we do like i said me and my wife we both work full-time jobs so it's not as if we uh we're just living off of selling chickens and eggs but it does help so you know, our chickens were able to buy uh, buy that Polaris Ranger and that Polaris uh, 850. So we kind of keep our, our, our farm financials separate from our personal financials. And, you know, it's it's nice whenever you can pay off stuff with it. And anyway, hey, if you guys like watching these kind of videos or you like just watching baby chicks and uh, hatching videos and... Uh, tool reviews and seeing pigs and goats and rabbits and chickens and more chickens and then did i tell you we got chickens but they're really fun to watch and fun to raise and uh well if you like watching those you know subscribe for more videos and uh thanks for watching